Today is October 2nd, 2020. Almost about 10 hours ago, we, we got the news that President Trump has been diagnosed with COVID-19. Um, I woke up to this news, and of course, it's not the best news that, that you would get, and it's a big surprise, but it's very important for the American and the public to know that there's absolutely no reason at this point to panic. Um, and the reason is because the president is asymptomatic. We think that this is at the very early stage of the disease. We know that two days ago, um, in the last two, three days that he went through the debate, he was negative. The incubation period for this virus is about 10 days to two weeks. How he got this, who he got it from, where it came from, at this point, it's not really relevant. What's really important, and it's very critical, is to make sure that there's an early intervention and early treatment. And I am sure that his doctors are doing exactly what we're talking about. I personally have been involved in taking care of multiple presidents. Uh, as a physician who is responsible for the president, these are very difficult jobs. And I want to salute these doctors that are doing the job as they are, because they have to be 100% correct when it comes to the treatment options and taking care of them. Fortunately, we have many different treatment options at this point, and a lot of you brought up Boris Johnson and how critical this condition got. I highly doubt that we're going to go that far, and, and I think we have to do everything we can to treat this at the early stage. Hydroxychloroquine, zinc, z -pack, ivermectin, we have remdesivir, convalescent plasma, and the list goes on and on. And I'm sure this is exactly what they're doing. At the same time, I'm sure they're also getting a CAT scan of his chest to make sure if it's not advanced. Clearly, the, pay, the president is asymptomatic, and that's a good sign. We are monitoring him in a, a very monitored setup, um, and uh, we should be okay. We will update you with any uh, news that comes as a result of this. I will bring you more information about this. Um, but, you know, we want to make sure that um, uh, everyone is up to date. He will do well. I have absolutely faith in his stamina, in his physical being. This is a man, if anybody can beat this virus, it would be him. Um, I've said that even though he's 73 or 74 years old, he has the mental capacity of a 50-year-old or younger. And physically, I'm in shock how strong he is with all these rallies and all these attacks and lack of sleep and stress. Um, he's 74 going to 30. So. God bless him. We, we wish him all the best. We pray for him. I think we've come a long way in science and medicine. Um, this is not the time for any kind of politics. Remember, we're all Americans. It doesn't really matter what party you belong to. This is not about right or left. It's about defeating this virus. We pray for America. We pray for our president. And we wish him all the best and fast recovery. And I'll bring you more news as this uh, story develops. Take care.